Today is a monumentous event for the mission. We've spent four years planning for this day and we've been able to pull together an amazing project that will provide a home and a whole lot of support services to people that come to the mission. I'd like on behalf of the One Heart, One Home Committee to welcome you all most sincerely to this ceremony this afternoon. I've been lucky enough to be able to live here and enjoy it. It's just a great place. You cannot beat it. Uh, it's home. Many of you know much of the story of the activities since 2014 which have brought us to today, just three years on. It was a very ambitious project. It arose from our strategic 10-year plan and it's a fulfilment of an important part of that plan. One Heart, One Home is part of our strategy. It'll raise the benchmark. It has involved members from the community from all levels and places. It is a very involving and engaging process. It is for the community and it means that we're going to be able to provide long-term supported accommodation for people who've been severely disadvantaged, who've experienced homelessness and often live with mental illness. That is a significant thing to be able to contribute to someone's sense of belonging and community. Such a basic part, apart from the meal, is the home which is safe, affordable, comfortable and respectful. And all the staff, like the staff here, it's like a five star hotel. We're getting it a bit easy, like, you know. We're lucky we don't have to work too hard. What really is wonderful about this place here is Margaret, the most amazing woman I have ever met. My badge was given to me because people thought that I was the mother of Sacred Heart Residential Facilities. So, very silly, really. <laughs> it's very precious to me. Margaret's the boss and like she's championing the time capsule that will recognise some of our past residents. It's just wonderful to have that legacy of being through the build and, and leaving it and leaving a home for so many people. She is the heart of Sacred Heart. The new project is going to provide room for growth and most importantly, a warm and welcoming home and service hub to those who need it most. It's been amazing to have so many supporters for this project. You have wholeheartedly responded and embraced this project as an opportunity to make a significant social impact. You have come through with your wonderful gifts and pledges and helped us to realise our dream. We really feel like we've got people standing beside us and we just want to say thank you so much. For your support, help and encouragement in getting this on the way. I know there are so many people on the board and in the working groups of the board that are putting in the hard yards. Also I want to thank all those who are funding the project, the federal and state government. Thank you, thank you, because like without you people, we wouldn't be getting a new home. We wouldn't have all the facilities we've got today. It's something really to look forward to and we can watch it grow. Just a huge thank you from our hearts for all their support. It's been incredibly generous. I just want to say a big welcome and a big thank you to all of them and please go on supporting. I feel proud. I feel proud to be involved with the mission. I feel amazed that we can create this impact. It's got lots of legs, lots of momentum, it's going well. The injection of huge amounts of expertise. We are so excited to see it happen. It's been inspiration. The work that's carry on here. Really beautiful. A lot of us have never moved into a new home, but we are now. And it's going to be our home.